the German custom of Freudschaftskarten, the illustrated friendship or lover's letters. This custom had its origin in the rich illumination of manuscripts in the medieval monasteries. Carried by German immigrants to the United States in the mid-18th century, a handmade illuminated card was called Fraktur, illustrated here by this hand-colored cutout given as a teacher's award in 1750. Also, from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, this fractor, about nine and three-quarter inches square, dates from 1795 and has a heart motif with eight love poems in the inner circle and 16 in the outer ring. Eight panels surround the core of this fractor from the early 1800s. In a style called Irrgarten, the German immigrants, the so-called Pennsylvania Germans, made labyrinths in the form of puzzle pictures. While this 1751 Irrgarten had a religious theme, the same concept was used in this 1800s endless knot of love, which was hand cut in Litchfield, Connecticut. Sometimes also referred to as Liebesbrief, the German love letter of cut out design and richly illuminated can be seen as the precursor to the Valentine. Here, an 1800s example from upstate New York has eight folded and cut out hearts surrounded by cherubs, birds of paradise, flowers, thistles, and stars. Each heart carries a love message. Flowers of heaven, divinest here, symbol of affection true. So too does this contemporary folk art, Liebesbrief from Washington County, Maryland. Additional strands in the evolution of the Valentine card from German and Austrian friendship and New Year's cards were these austere embossed friendship cards made by A. Muthenthaler in Vienna in 1750 and the German hand-painted friendship cards featuring the altar of love and Cupid or the painted altar of love and doves on a satin background. The Altar of Love theme matured on the German Biedermeier cards during the period 1800 to 1830. Sold commercially, this 4 and 7 8 by 3 and 3 8 inch card was made of embossed satin and depicts the Altar of Love. Another Biedermeier has the embossed Altar of Love attended by Cupid in a top band and a larger Altar of Love attended by a goddess. The altar opens to reveal the message of love. Certainly the most famous Biedermeyers were made by Johannes Endlitzberger, who was also an engraver of banknotes in Vienna. On a delicate background fabric of very small dimensions, here four and a half by three and a half inches, Endlitzberger used embossed paper to make individual flowers, garlands, and fixtures that were hand-painted and applied plus metallic Dresden paper, mother of pearl, and a mirror to make this friendship card in which the face of the beloved would be reflected in the mirror. Or another small Endlitzberger, Biedermeyer, about four inches square, has a cameo embossed garland of flowers, which are hand painted and mounted on delicate silk net with a love message. Endlitzberger's miniature masterpiece uses flowers as its language of love, and shows its heritage from Catholic devotional cards. By now, specific symbols provided the universal language of love. Hymen, the Greek god of marriage, depicted as a youth carrying a flaming torch and a lute. Cupid, 
the Roman god of erotic love, and the son of Venus, shown as a cherub with bow and arrow. The flaming altar of love conveying intense desire and sacred union. The heart with its Christian message of love and kindness. And the endless knot of love confirming eternity. Flowers also supplied another idiom in the language of love, specifically with the rose singly as a symbol for love, a regular red rose, much love, a red rosebud, pure and lovely, a white rose, unity, plus an entire vocabulary indicated by different colored roses and other flowers in bouquets. Silent o'er the fountain gleaming in the silvery moonlight hour, bright and beauteous in its seeming, waves a friendly, fragile flower. This language of love was indispensable to the evolving connotation of the word valentine. The word valentine had expanded from the person who was the target of love to include also a message that communicated